Okay, the doctor meter guy sent me another meter, so I get to play with it a little bit. It's a model PM18. It's a cheapy uh, Chinese meter. Kind of a general purpose thing, use it for electronics if you need to. I mostly do HVAC, and it does have some value there. It says it's a true RMS meter. And one of the things I do like about it is it's got really big numbers because this old man can't see where to hang anymore. So big numbers are nice. Uh, but supposedly it is true MR RMS. I'm not going to try to test it because I don't have anything to test it with that I know is absolutely accurate. Other features it's got. It has 20 amps going through the meter. So you can put these leads in series with a 20 amp load and it'll read it. Little unusual, a lot of the meters have it, but the cheapies don't usually have 20 amp, they usually have 10. And so that's a little, little valuable. Inside there are two fuses. And you can see there's, there's a 20 amp fuse, and I think I overdid that one a bit and it still didn't blow, but and then there's a 600 milliamp fuse. I hate fuses and meters. I know they're there in a lot of these things. They protect the meter, although I've never seen one protect a meter yet. Uh, Use the meter blows up anyway, so you got to take the thing apart to get to the fuses. There are no spares. I don't like that sort of stuff because what happens in the field, you're going to work with this meter and you're going to blow a fuse. If you don't blow a fuse sometime, you ain't working. Okay, you're not going to have a fuse, so what are you going to do? You're going to take aluminum foil, put it around the fuse, and stick it back in, and then make sure you blow up the meter. Now, it's just the way it's going to end up happening, guys. You know, that's <laughs> always the way it is. Anyway, I don't much like the fuses, but and they should have given us at least a couple of spares. And God, it would have been nice if they're easier to get to. you got to take the meter completely apart to get to them. Okay, things it does that I would use. Millivolts, DC millivolts for thermocouples. Yeah, that's good. It goes to megohms, 60 megohms. That's pretty good for testing uh, compressors and the like, although an insulation tester is actually a little better uh, when it gets right down to it, and this is not an insulation tester. One other thing it does, it goes down to 60 microamps, which is useful for us HVAC guys in testing flame rods. So we do a lot of stuff like that. That 20 amp also, the 20 amp um, inline, also will do AC and DC. Because there's, there's DC amps and then there's AC amps. So it does both of those. And of course the voltage is, you know, thousand volts uh, 750 on uh, alternating so it does most of the things you'd want it does shut off by itself but everything else in the world does now too most of these things are just standard with most meters this one's got most of the stuff you'd want and if you do electronics you could probably use it uh, I notice all the meters anymore have the cat 3 leads with them and I actually think that's a pretty good idea because kind of save your butt on these uh, when getting electrocuted. Uh, again, we always have the issue with would you trust uh, your life with a cheap meter? Well, I guess I sometimes do. Most of the time I don't. But anyway, does it do anything that I want? Yeah. Oh, and it's got a light thing in it. Something. I don't know. I'm not sure if the light thing works. Anyway, the light does come on and and so it pretty much, oh, it also will do uh, hertz. And I think that's kind of neat. It's also got the non-contact voltage thing. Sometimes you can get, yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that's nice to have for checking circuits. You know, I guess that's about all I have on it. Will I use it? Probably. It does seem to be a viable meter to use. So it'll be added to the... The group already have. Anyway, that's it on this little Dr. Meter PM18 multimeter.